everyone, it's Angela from Bake Angel. Welcome back to my channel, where today I'm gonna to show you how to make these amazing two bite brownies. Let's dive in. So let's quickly go through the ingredients that we'll need for the two bite brownies. We have 100 grams of white sugar, 57 grams of melted plant-based butter, an egg, I'm gonna be using some vanilla bean paste in this. Then we have 56 grams of melted vegan chocolate. And then for the dry ingredients at the back, we have 45 grams of all-purpose flour, 12 grams of cocoa powder, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. And the final ingredient is 90 grams of vegan chocolate chips that we'll be adding to the brownies at the end. So let's start by adding our white sugar and the melted butter to our mixing bowl. Now we're gonna whisk these together until they're nice and smooth. As that's gonna give a really nice good base to our brownie bites. Next we can add our egg. And this is a large egg. You could use a medium egg if that's all that you have. Just make sure that it is at room temperature before you add it to the recipe. And then a dash of vanilla bean paste. And we're gonna whisk this for a while just to help give some nice air to the brownies. And also it's gonna help with the crackle top as well, which I know we all love. Okay, so that's thickening up nicely. You can see it's lovely and smooth as well. So let's pop this to one side. Next, we're gonna add in our melted chocolate. Now, I recommend when you are melting your chocolate for this that you do it in 15 second intervals in your microwave, or you can melt it over the stove top as well with a double boiler method. But do let it sit for a little bit before you add it to the recipe, just so that it cools down, because you don't want anything to seize or for it to curdle with the eggs when you add it if it's too hot. So let it sit for a few minutes, like I said, just before you add it to the recipe. Okay, perfect. I will give that a whisk. And we're just whisking this a little bit for it to combine, and it really does help with the consistency and also the richness of the brownies as well. We'll just go around a couple more times. So next we're gonna add in our dry ingredients and we're actually gonna mix these in with a spatula because we wanna make sure we don't over mix the brownies at this stage. So we've got our all purpose flour, cocoa powder and a touch of salt as well. So let's stir that in. Now this is a small batch as well, which you could easily double. You'll be able to get all that information from the recipe on my blog, and I'll make sure to post the link for that in the description below the video as well. So make sure you check that out once you've watched this video. Okay, so that's nicely mixed. Look how rich and yummy that looks. So the last thing we need to do now is add in our final chocolate chunks. So you could use chocolate chips for this. You could cut up your favorite chocolate bars. I'm just using some vegan chocolate chunks and you wanna fold those in. So definitely something you could get the kids involved with at this stage. Not too messy, but definitely a lot of fun. And the brownie mix smells so good already. Okay, so now we're ready to pop them in the baking pan. You should have already preheated your oven as well to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. So let's move this out of the way and get our pan prepped. Okay, so I'm just gonna pop this down as we're gonna actually spray this mini pan with oil, with a spray oil. Just a little bit in each cavity. Good 
little bit extra in that one. And then I'm just going to go around oops, and just wipe it around as well, cleaning off the tops too. And then all we have to do now is scoop our brownie mix into the pan and I'm using a small scoop for this one. And just plop it in. Lots and lots of chocolatey goodness in this. So you could also switch up the chocolate, put some white chocolate chips in it. I guess you could add some crushed up nuts as well if you wanted to. But we're just sticking traditional and going for regular chocolate here. So I'll just keep going and get these filled. So once you've filled your tray, you just want to give it a tap on the counter. You just want to make sure that it starts to flatten off at the bottom. And then we can pop these in the oven. Now this is going to bake at 350 degrees Fahrenheit, roughly 10 to 12 minutes. You may need to adjust that based on the type of tray that you're using. But let's go ahead and get these baked. Okay, our brownie bites are done and I wish you guys could smell how wonderfully chocolatey my kitchen is right now. You can see they've all risen nicely. There's a couple that didn't have the same amount of batter. Um, but you can see we got 15 from this batch. Now if you double it, you'd easily get 24. But I just wanted to show you that it is possible to do a small batch, especially if there's only one or two of you in your home and you don't have a lot of people to share these with. I'm going to leave these cool completely before we remove them because everything is going to firm up as it cools down. Then we can take them out and we'll come back to do our taste test. So now it's time for the all important taste test and before we do that, I just wanted to show you if you leave these cool completely in the pan, they will just pop out if you use a spatula just around the edges to ease them out of the muffin pans. So have a look at these, it's about an inch in height. Definitely two bites worth there as well. It's got that nice sort of crackling on top that we love with brownies, but still nice and firm on the outside. And then when we open it up, nice and gooey in the middle. I'm gonna have a quick taste to let you know what they're like. So really, really good. They're very rich, definitely stick to your teeth kind of brownies, which we all love. And I really like that little crunchiness on the outside too. So make sure you check out the link to the recipe in the description below and comment and let me know whether you're gonna try these two bite brownies as well. I look forward to seeing you on my next video. Bye for now.